editor's note, <clears throat> I'm putting this in the beginning of the video. Cameras were freaking crazy in this one, so the, the cuts are going to be all over the place. But Ford is going to show you some mind numbing blowing <laughs> just like I, i'm like beat into like so I'm everything like, master <laughs> master please stop stop i can't take anymore yes so <laughs> be forewarned cuts may be crazy but the info is freaking solid gold like your guitar dude hey i'm yeah. still i'm killing you before you who cares about when you have tell them what it is really freak quick. out hey, digitech you digitech have have plug <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. And that insert one. plug. Give them the whole thing. Give them the whole they thing. They court coast with a player, and all I'm doing is. <laughs> Freak so, out's great. So Fire, was... Maypalm on top of your phrased note. It's that amazing. was our, that was our, uh, a word from our sponsor. Yes. Now on to the lesson. Take care. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Yeah, welcome, 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 welcome. So today, I'm super freaking stoked. This has been like how long in the making? Forever? A, a decade. <laughs> a decade. So Since high school. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so one of my first uh, trips out to Nashville, I was in uh, my, my buddy Greg, who works at STS, builds rigs and all this stuff. Owns it. Owns it, right? <laughs> and... Uh, He's like, oh, dude, this guy Ford's coming in. You got it. You got to stay here. I'm like, okay, whatever. And at this point, I would already been like, holy crap, Nashville. Like, what's in the water? Like, everybody just is <laughs> incredible, right? Yeah, it's crazy. But Ford comes in. He starts freaking jazzing it up, playing like sick, you know, blues, jazzy riffs. And then the, the kicker for me is you switch from that to Van Halen 1 at the freaking <laughs> drop. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm hanging with uh, this dude right here. That's awesome. So today, we're going to do like a... Uh, you explain it. So you're talking about A minor, but playing C major, kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, just really like, you know, over that change. Yeah. So you have a six chord. Right. Which we're not going to go to. It's an F. Right. C. So over top of that, most people play that change. So, so it would be like, so to, people, most people would think A minor pentatonic. Right. Is the first go to. Exactly. Right. They're going to be. Right. Exactly. So uh, I got my A minor pentatonic box. Right. And of course, most people can't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Well, the, the cool thing is, is that if you just know that the C major scale, right. say, okay. now is it okay? So you're playing C major, which is the same thing, but how are you thinking about it's, getting those it, the, notes? The, the, the reason why you want to be thinking C major is because the order of the notes is different than okay. it would be as a A minor scale. Right. So you're starting on this. The one or the third of that chord. Just more interesting sounding. It's going to be more flavorful. It's going to have some of that Steely Dan kind of thing. They're playing over an A minor chord. He's thinking as the, the center ground, uh, home base is the C major scale. It's the diatonic scale. And then he's bookending with blues. So he'll phrase out of the major scale and then slide into the A minor blues position. So he might... For like somebody that's just trying to get out of pentatonic playing, yeah, what's an easy way to think about? Honestly, the easiest way to do it is because I think trying to think of the chord tones for some people just starting out could actually be difficult. Right. But over like these three chords, just play that. Just take learn the scale and just go. So show them that. Um, show them that the one. Just give them one scale to play. Okay, out. here we go. Okay, here's the C major scale. And so That's over on. A minor. Yeah, play my own. I mean, and it's the same notes, right? Yeah, it's just it's a different order. The notes go in a different order, so it has a different feeling. Yeah. You know, um, you know. So like bare bones, simple lick. Like I'm gonna keep okay. playing the A minor. Play right there. So you got. So what are the frets? I'm bending from seven to eight, and then down, and ten on the B string. A, back up to 10, to and 9. You're basically just playing an A minor chord, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh. These 
notes are cool too. You can put these notes together. Slide that same shape up. So I'm gonna have it on nine, 10, and uh, seven. Take that and then slide it up a whole step. Okay, so that'll work up the A minor. Yeah. So maybe I'm gonna vamp on A minor okay. and you need to do a little loud for us. Okay. So C major, ready? I'm gonna start simple. Then A blues. granted that you can do this <laughs> <laughs> okay so little pieces like, what, what, what was the little okay. uh, the little a minor lick a minor lick so show us, show us, yeah perfect that's a, What's a that? classic joe walsh okay oh, so the you pre-bend this one on the fifth okay kind of like to the mate to the the next note up okay so okay, it's like, okay so do a, do a basic version of the C major little okay. kind of, and then bring it, bring it home with Three. that. Mm. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now, will it make more sense if we just play like the chord progression we were playing to do the arpeggio? Yes. Okay. Totally, right? right. Go ahead. Okay, now I'm gonna do that first thing. Why does that work? It's got all the notes from the chords that are going. Yeah, oh, sounds so. You can solo with just these these. Idea there okay. There you go. Now, <laughs> that Guthrie trap thing where the, this this major. Okay, so it, you, explain it in case in the case they missed. Okay. Guthrie traps uh, in Nashville, just yeah. burning. Yeah, I said, what are you playing there? This super Tell them the story, because okay. you're, you're giving away you're yeah. giving away the bank. Right I called him. I said, what is that thing that you do where he <laughs> plays this arpeggio? And he said, oh, it's just a major seven arpeggio, but. It's where I play it and what chords I play. But with. the but the kicker is he's like, don't tell anybody. Don't yeah, he's like, if you <laughs> give this to anyone, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Nobody's watching. Yes. It's okay. Life just insurance. The world knows now. Okay. Okay. So yeah, exactly. over that A, I'm just playing. Okay. So do that. Break that down super slow because that alone is bad in the bone. Okay. Eight. So a little slide. Yep. Sliding up from seven to eight. Then uh, seven. Ten. Nine. Uh, nine. Ten. And then I'm going nine on the G. Eight on the B. Seven. And then pull off. Eight to seven. So. Swing it. One, two. And it's just great. Now here's the kicker. So practice that. So you're getting that out. You have your C major scale. And then I'm showing how you just pick a few notes within that scale once you learn it, right? And then you have this. Can you break down that? So the arpeggio you did, which was killer. And, yeah. But like a, like a little bite. So you know how you did the three notes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, so here. same progression. From A. the blues right there, right? And then... And then this. Neil Sean. Where's that Neil Sean? Okay, 
so give them the three pieces. So I, you did you yeah. did uh, simple blues. Simple blues at a C major scale. The arpeggio you have of that. So you had those those shapes. Where are they, what's yep. the shapes? And the shapes are here. Right. Okay. So that's on the uh, nine, ten, seven, and take okay. the whole thing, slide it up a whole step. And that's really cool. And if you can move it around, like almost. It's, it's kind of slashish. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, you see Keith up. Urban guys up. Uh, like, give me friends now. So, 12, 13. So, 12, 13, 10, 12, then 13 on the high. Uh, 12, 10. Then I'm taking this B note on the 12th fret and bend it a half step and wiggling it. So. around and make it your own. Yeah. <laughs> so, Guthrie's trick has that C major scale over A, over minor chord. If it was an E minor, he'd play G major 7 arpeggio. Right, so just a so whole step down. Over anything like, let's say that he's playing over a 7 chord, let's say A7. Or A9. Okay. Sound and West Montgomery. Yeah, what so it? what's happening is you play over the chord a whole step below as the, as the, the same arpeggio I showed you up here, right here. So over like an A7 you'd play. And, and the then blues. back in the blues? Yes. So it's... chord you'd play a whole step below that so if the four chords a d you'd play the same scale i showed you the first yeah. one Just like then, that. Yeah, so you can use those. You just like be patient with using that. Maybe like your second turn around the, the chord change. And, and also uh, try to start it on three. So like one, two. Oh, right. That's the key. Start the lick on three. So one, two. It's really not that complicated. It's just learning this arpeggio yeah. and just recording that little change on your phone and just practicing it. Yeah. And it, don't be afraid to fall down. You yeah. know? Uh, and then remember, you can cut these in half so you could go. Start from the uh, F sharp and slide to G. Do that real slow. Three, four. You don't even have to hit that A note in the end. You know, you can play whatever it is you already have in your bag. It's important to do this, and don't be afraid to mix, obviously, everything that you already know all together, because this music thing is all about a, a big cauldron, and you just throw right. in all your things and borrow on this from that guy. You know, and I'm actually playing this different than Guthrie does, 
A, because he's so much better, but like, <laughs> <laughs> he's unbelievable. But like, you know, you do that, and then you can take the same things. I was saying, um, you know, really simple stuff. Just mix it all together, C major scale. You have that, these, these ordered notes. Bookend with your blues licks. It really all works great. All right, so I'm, I'm going to apologize right now. My cameras both have freaking gremlins in them. So if it's like freaking all over the place, and you're like, it's going to be an editing yeah. tornado. Yeah, Brett was on crack when I did this. Yeah, it was, it's was. it been a long weekend, and my yeah, cameras yeah, yeah. are whatever. But yeah, Ford, yeah. you're freaking the man. Hey, you know, I just love guitar. It doesn't guitar. suck you guys just the bad to the yeah. bone guitar, too. <laughs> I just love playing guitar so much, and it's an honor to hang out with you. Oh, and please. I mean, obviously, me and this guy are going to be best friends. Please, like, you know, but like, it's, it's, music is supposed to be simple. And, you know, it's supposed to be fun. Follow your heart. Place th things that make you feel feel something. Yeah. You know? And for me, actually, I'm not really into much shredding. Yeah. I like, I like, well, I'd rather feel nose. Here, here, brother. Here, here, here. And don't forget. Simple. You know guitar because a song got you there. Hey, here's a good one. <laughs> Oh, let's see if I can do it. Wait, wait. Crap, like yeah, Instagram. yeah. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Fort Thurston Music. Yeah, I'll and put I'll, it down I have below. a single coming out in uh, February. Look with at a video. You. You're it's all going Man. on. I got, I got to keep up with this guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's, but, it, but you know, the funny thing is, is that it's all really uh, simple. Hey, hurry up before the camera turns off. <laughs> so Bruce, work on your C major scale. Learn it. Both those are pages I showed you. C major over the A minor. If you're playing a blues. Think a whole step below the same arpeggio from G. If it's a D, play it from C as your starting note. Very simple. Break it in half. Inside that scale, don't be afraid to just play any note. Over the top of that A minor and everything will be great.